Hi, I'm Daryl. Welcome to What to Read Wednesday. Today's book that I'm going to talk about is called We Begin at the End by Chris Whitaker. And for about a year now, I have heard the publisher, reviewers, other librarians, and people talking about this book. Now, after reading it, I know why. Now, let me start with a little description here from the publisher itself. There are two kinds of families, the ones we're born into and the ones we create. Now, Walk has never left the coastal California town where he grew up. He may have become the chief of police, but he's still trying to heal the old wound of giving court testimony that sent his best friend, Vincent King, away to prison for decades. Now, 30 years later, Vincent is being released. Now, Duchess, on the other hand, is a 13-year-old self-proclaimed outlaw. Her mother, Star, grew up with both Walk and Vincent. Walk is in overdrive, always trying to protect them. But Vincent and Star seem to have their uh, guides set on self-destruct. They're always in the mode to do harm to themselves. Star has always burned bright, but recently the light has started to dim, leaving Duchess, the 13-year-old, to parent not only her mother, but also her five-year-old brother, Robin, as well. Now, at school, the other kids make fun of Duchess. Her clothes are torn. Her hair is a mess, but let them throw their sticks because she's going to throw stones back. Rules are for other people. She's just trying to survive and keep her family together. That is what the outlaw duchess puts above all else, and nothing is going to get in her way. A 40-something-year-old sheriff and a 13-year-old girl may not seem like they have a lot in common, but they both have come to expect that people will disappoint them that loved ones will leave you. And if you open your heart, even just a little, it will be broken. So when trouble arrives with Vincent King's release from prison, Walk and Duchess find they will be unable to do anything but usher it in. Now, in this book, Chris Whitaker has written an extraordinary novel about people who deserve so much more than life serves them up. At times, it's devastating with flashes of humor and hope throughout. It is ultimately an inspiring tale of how the human spirit prevails and how, in the end, love in all its guises can win. This book is filled with unforgettable characters, incredible settings, and a plot that will keep you interested right up until the very end. Once you start the book, you'll find yourself getting into the rhythm and the flow of the book, and it does not let up the whole way throughout. People will likely be talking about this book all year long, and it will end up on almost everyone's best of 2021 lists. If uh, it's that rare book that manages to combine those feelings of longing for the past, appreciating the complexities of the present, and then also hoping for a better future. We Begin at the End is a very well-crafted novel that can easily lead to great discussions at book clubs. Just a little warning, there are children in the book that uh, find themselves in peril at some times, but the author does a tremendous job of making you feel for those kids, but also on the same hand, make you have a little bit of sympathy for uh, those who may have had to choose a different path in life. We all may start out as innocent children, but the world that we're raised in can go a long way to define who we are at the end. Those choices that we make or the hands that we're dealt often have unseen, uncontrollable factors at play. We begin at the end may make you start to look at your life and those of the lives that you pass out in the street with a little more acceptance, if not a little more appreciation. Until next time, keep on reading. Stay safe, and we hope to see you in the libraries again in the near future.